Inspiration 1390. I'm Jerome Montgomery on Music of Power and Praise. We have Pastor Jay Hayslip. Um, I know who the Nene Leaks is of the group as Dietrich Haddon. Why? Um, no, Why? You Jer start everything. You, you start like everything. My, you know, my real brother's huh? name is Gerald. And said so you cutting up just like he's a good dude. Well, no, okay. he ain't no good dude. <laughs> <He's> good dude. <laughs> get on my nerves. <laughs> That's my job today. Get on your nerves. <laughs> and Bishop Ron, uh, Ron Gibson. Hello. All right, who are the pastors that we uh, are? We all, are yeah, they're not here today, but they're also a part of the sh a part of the show. Bishop Noel Jones and also Bishop Clarence McClendon and Pastor Wayne Cheney. All right. Oh no, and one more. Uh, Lemmy Plummer. No, Lemmy's uh, executive producer. Oh my bad. That's sorry. It. You got it. <laughs> Yeah, my That's bad. right. It's my girl. All right, hey. we're, gonna, we're gonna go back to the phones. All right, let's go to back to the phone. Good morning. Who is this? This is Deborah. Deborah, you got a question for our pastors? Yeah, I do have a question, but I also hope that if I was married to a minister, he would minister and pastor my whole household. Wow. My question is this: <laughs> um, oh, How do I like you? That, sis. How do you feel that? ministers, if they're called, and I do believe if you are really a minister, God has called you. No one has appointed you, but God has called you to this position. So you are put on a different level, from my point of view. How is it that you can actually walk away from the marriage? You know, you're the minister. This is If God can go through it, then why couldn't you? Uh, let me help you out with that, sis. You, that's a good question you asked. Um, but let me tell you something. The way you can walk away from the marriage, we, we, we think that just because we're Christians, we should stay in the marriage until death do us part. Well, that's literal what the death. Scripture says. Well, I'm getting ready to go to that scripture since you, uh, I'm glad you mentioned it. It's in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 15. It says, if the unbeliever departs, let them depart. That's the 15th verse. Because the believer is called unto peace. So in other words, when you stop obeying the scriptures, at that time you broke the covenant and you become a, a backslider, a sinner. And, a, and in a case like that, when your spouse commits adultery, you do not have to stay in that abusive relationship or stay in that marriage. You should go study that, ma'am, because that is, a, that is an out. That's the only out that the Bible gives any, uh, especially a preacher or people of God, uh, right. for a divorce. And so, right. I'm, I'm familiar yeah. with that. Uh, that yeah, so, so you shouldn't be asking that question if you're familiar well, with no, that. no, because my point is this. You know, you, if you really love this person, then yeah. why can't you work through it? Okay. Well, there's, there's two oh, people oh, involved. There's two okay. people involved, and, and it's... You're not going to take all of every detail of your personal life and put it on display, you know, when you have other people. Uh, one person could want to do the right thing. The other person may not be willing to participate. Right. But when you cross the line in adultery, the Bible gives me a choice either to yeah. stay in the marriage or get out of it. Because guess what? Because you know why? That covenant is now broken. broken. Yes, sir. You have no marriage. But exactly. God's highest desire is always reconciliation. But once again, when you have two people involved... If one of them's not willing to work their part, it can't happen. And God gives yeah. you that choice. And, and you cannot judge that individual for that. No, the word gives you that choice. You have an out if adultery is committed. Yeah, exactly. You infidelity. do have that choice. You, you got it, sweetie? Choice. You got it? Oh, she's gone. You got it? Good morning, 1390. Okay. So what's your question for the pastors? Good morning. I was listening, and I don't want to say my name, but I was in the marriage for 26 years, and I know that um, I'm chosen by God, and... Um, my husband that I was married to, uh, he he's not saved, and I have been saved. So um, I'm listening to everything that y'all are saying. And um, my husband had cheated on me and had two children. And so it's like, okay, we separated. And then it's like, okay, by me being a Christian, I'm trying to do the right thing. First, it was almost, I almost got to the point with divorce. And... Uh, I chose to stop the divorce because I wanted to do the right thing because I was a Christian. But he still mm -hmm. didn't want to do the right thing. He even convinced me that he was into the church and stuff. Okay, so what's, what happened? So tell me, what the, what's the outcome in your situation? <laughs> the outcome in my situation, there's no more. Okay, so, so you, you finally you divorced. I'm not divorced yet, but it's, I'm getting to that point where I'm finna get ready to oh, do it. Oh, but, sweetie, you Sweetie, what's your question? What's your question? My, my question is... Um, when do you let go? You, 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 well, listen, you if, if this go. guy's got two kids by another woman and he's been out committing adultery and has other children, you kick that dude to the curb. Yeah, what are you doing? 
you not? You should have been. I under, and, and you you telling me that you're holding on to that situation because of religious reasons, because you're a Christian, or you're going to con con continue to allow your heart to be trampled on like that? You, you what, go talk what, to your pastor, young lady. Yeah. What's, what's your name? I just want to address your name. My name is Bishop Ron Gibson. I would suggest I would suggest you go get some godly counseling, yeah. Yeah. some Christian counseling, because I don't know your situation. But if your husband stepped outside of the marriage, he broke the covenant. And according to, I'll give you a scripture to justify your actions. First Corinthians chapter seven, verse 15 says you are free because God has called you to peace. When your spouse commits adultery, you are free to get a divorce and marry again. And God will not hold that against you. Now, if she, I'm praying for you. Amen. I really empathize with you and may God help She's you and give you wisdom. Yeah, that's abuse. But if she want to get, once you divorce, you want to get back with him for some reason. That's yeah, I don't be think you'll guess. be wanting to get back with him. <laughs> Okay. That's on you. She's so in love with him. She don't want to let him go. All right, here we go. Uh, good morning. Uh, what's your question for the pastors? Hello. Yes. What's what is your okay. question for the pastors? Okay, my question. First of all, you, you answered my question. I said I couldn't even get the question out. And Pastor <laughs> Hadden, you answered the question, and and I'm not getting it to nobody personal bit because it ain't my business. But anyway, Pastor <laughs> Hadden, you answered my question what's when your... you said when pastors mm -hmm. uh, when you're wrong and you admit that you're wrong and you ask for forgiveness. Yeah. I, I mean, when you answered that question, I said, okay, what else I'm going to say? I said, I ain't got nothing to say. You answered the question. I'm telling you. What question well, did he I, answer? No, what she, question she, did he she, answer? She, she, she may have had a question for me, for my, because, you know, my situation oh, was Oh, it wasn't relative to the, no, okay, no, it was relative to the lady before. Okay, I understand. it was relative to the lady before, and I'm like, okay. you know, and then when you, and I say, he just answered the question, and then even with your situation, I don't know the situation, I ain't getting into the situation, but whatever, you know, I believe that you are called by God, I believe it. Um, I haven't, I heard a lot of your music, but I haven't heard you preach, but I believe that you are called by God, and I believe when everything you did, you you just consulted God with it. And I really don't have a question, but congratulations to all of y'all. Thank and you I'm gonna so be much. I'm looking on TV. <laughs> Thank, you. Right Thank you. Thank you. 1390, good morning. What's your question for the pastors? Hello? Yes, what's, what's your, your question? question? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No. Hold all right, good morning. What's your question for the pastors? Hello. What good is morning. Your, good morning. Go ahead. Give me your question. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. First of all, I want to commend you all. And I'm not a person that watch television, and I'm not a big fan of, um, of the reality television television show so I had this negative vibe to but to hear you guys on the radio and what your goal is and your mission in the show is great. My question is to you. I am a first lady. Hmm. And uh, my husband and I are in the process of going through a divorce. Yeah, right. There is no adultery. And so the woman that called in a couple of calls before me talked about being a Christian and in any relationship, whether it's mother, daughter, father, and son, there is conflict. Our marriage is new. I did not pursue him. I was in a different state. I know this person from my past. They pursued me in the past. It's the third time I'm saved, serving on ministry, relocated to a different state. And because we had conflict in our marriage, okay. my husband no longer want me. And I believe that there should be a balance. Okay, ma'am. What, what, what is your, what is your way question, ma'am? Or the highway. So my question is, you heard if there is conflict between the husband and wife, this in pastoring and whatever, do it gives you grounds to divorce your spouse because they're conflict. Conflict. Well, based, I was raised based on, listen to me, listen to this, Pastor Jay right here, based mm -hmm. on what you are saying right now, obviously, I uh, don't hear his side, but based on what you're saying, there is no biblical grounds for divorce. But obviously, you cannot control what somebody else does, you know, so uh, I would just encourage you. Uh, t to pray, to get counsel, you know, to stand on the Word of God. And if He chooses to make that decision and go in that direction, God still has a great future for you. Regardless of what He does, you continue to honor God. Don't allow the hurt and pain to get in there and become bitterness. You know, you right, walk in forgiveness, right, right. but protect yourself. Don't allow yourself to be abused. 
and uh, and just trust God we and stand on pray, His word. We pray right now that that situation is <clears throat> to turn around. Whatever this this spirit is that's, that's overtaking your household mm -hmm. and your husband right now, we come against it through the authority of the Holy yes. Ghost in the name of <laughs> Jesus. And we yeah. speak peace and we yeah. speak. Yes. We, we come on, y'all. We yes. just yes. pray restoration right now. Believe, in your Jesus' name. Your situation man. can be restored <clears throat> if, if 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 God get in it. If your yeah. Yeah. God in it. So Go get some Christian counseling, man. Exactly. Go and seek Christian yeah. counseling. Yeah. 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 All right, what are we going to do? We, we do this every time we go off the air, but I want to say thank you all yes. for coming. And it is really because we see, I see you mainly in the industry. I kind of know Dietrich more uh, than Bishop and then Pastor Jay yeah. because in the industry that we're in. And but most people. You kind of were striking me as a skater. I thought you might know me. <laughs> Imagine me on skates. Okay. Skateboard. Skateboard. Yeah. But skate too. <laughs> All right. But but we see the public sees you in the in the public in the, out in the media. Uh, they, everybody has their opinions, and I think that this was a close encounter that everybody get to hear you. Yeah. Hear your heart. Hear your mind. Yeah. And what we want to do as, as we always close the show, uh, we always invite someone mm. to Jesus. Mm. And I would ask um, someone out uh, of mm -hmm. three pastors, could you invite somebody? Because there's a lot of broken people. Mm -hmm. Everybody that comes to church is not happy. Mm -hmm. right. You know, somebody's crying all the time. So now I want one of the pastors that can invite someone to Jesus. Uh, I, I would I would love to do that. You know, I just want to encourage all the, everyone who's listening right now. If you've never given your life to Jesus right now to be willing to take that step of faith and open up your heart. Trust your life to him. He will give you eternal life. Regardless of where you've been or what you've done, God isn't angry at you. He's incredibly in love with you. When you look at the cross, it's an image and a picture of the love that God has for us. Jesus got on that cross, took the penalty for our sins upon himself so that we could experience the acceptance and forgiveness and love of God. If you've drifted away from God, I want to encourage you to just make a commitment to come back to him, to ask him to restore you to where you belong. God is faithful. He will do it. He will put you right where you belong or back where you belong. And I just want to lead everybody in a prayer right now. Yes, I want all everybody that's listening to me right now just to pray this prayer. If you can pray it out loud, pray it out loud. If you're in a place where you can't pray it in your heart, say this prayer with me right now. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, forgive me of all my sins. Forgive me of all my sins. Come into my heart. Come, Come into my, my heart. heart. Be my Lord. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. Be my Savior. I want to know you. I want to know you. I want to walk with you. I want to walk with you. I give you everything. I give you everything. And I accept your forgiveness. I accept your forgiveness. Today I'm saved. Today I'm saved. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Pastor Dietrich Haddon, Pastor Jay Hayslip, and Bishop Ron Gibson. You can watch them. You can watch the first show on video demand. Yes. If you have cable or direct TV, you can, uh, especially with cable, you, if you got <coughs> video demand, you can go there right now and watch episode. It's called Oxygen's Preachers of L.A. Pastors, thank you. Yes. Oh, thank our you pleasure. No. And the date? Yeah. Yeah. The date the is, date the is October the 9th. October yes. the 9th. October the 9th. Sheila. All yes. Right. See y'all. Absolutely. Thank you all so much. You were thank such you. a right. blessing Thank you today. so much. All right. <laughs> Man, I love the show. Inspiration 1390. Do you suffer from both chronic gout and have a history of heart disease? If you